Welcome to Park Info. I'm Gary Buskowski. I work for the Hoffman Estates Park District. We're here today with Jack Pizzo from Pizzo Associates, who's considered a, an expert in the art of natural area restoration. Jack, we've all heard a lot about pollination and the problems that we have in, in the world on our food and not being able to be pollinated uh, through the bees. What's happened to our bees and, and what uh, can natural areas do to help repopulate the bee populations? Well, that's a good question. What we can do by having naturalized areas, whether they're a garden that has native plants in it or it's a naturalized random space like you see around us, is that supports all sorts of, of butterflies, bees, wasps, beetles, bugs that move around through here and then can go out into our areas with food crops. So, you know, if you eat broccoli, somebody had to produce a broccoli farm where they had broccoli plants that they let go to seed. There had to be a pollinator that pollinated those flowers. So around a broccoli farm that's producing broccoli seed, there would have to be either honeybees or native areas to bring native pollinators out into the crop area. So our apples, our pears, our peaches, plums, all of those are dependent on insects to pollinate the flowers to get the fruit. So it's, we know that we have a problem with honeybees and the colony collapse disorder. So the, one of the best things that we can do until we can figure out exactly what's causing honeybee problems will be to increase the amount of natural space around there so we get the, the benefits from the, the native pollinators doing the work for our agricultural and horticultural crops. Jack, I've had residents call me and ask, why don't we have butterflies around anymore? Part, part of that is habitat destruction. So the big open prairies and the woodlands and the trees and the shrubs and the flowers that they depended upon are, are missing. All the landscapes now contain a lot of non-native plants that don't feed those. So we have to put back the plants that they depend upon. And the, probably the easiest one for people to understand is a monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies, their caterpillars can only live on milkweeds. And there's 20 some species of milkweeds that occur in Illinois and the caterpillars can only live on that. The butterflies themselves will nectar on all sorts of different flowers, but you, that plant, that animal is dependent upon one group of plants. So we have to put those back. So we put back members of the parsley family and we get the beautiful swallowtail butterflies. If we put back the milkweeds, we get the monarch butterflies. So to get those back into your landscapes, into your parks, into your corporate campuses, you have to put the plants that they depend on. Thanks, Jack.